tuning back into my channel. It's your girl, Princess Jess, and we're back with another motherfucking video. And you feel the vibes, you see the quality, you see the setup, everything is brand new. Um, so today, as you can tell by the title, I did a how-to on how I install my um, lace wigs. And as you can see, this beautiful, beautiful texture. Um, and it's affordable for all of my, you know, budget baddies out there. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys know how I go with that. Um, and no funny, I really want to sincerely thank every single person that has shared, liked, subscribed, commented, glanced. Alright guys, so just letting y'all know real quick, just have to say it. My neck, I'm seeing that it looks darker on camera for some reason. But I just want you to know that it does match my chest. My face matches my chest. I don't know what's going on with my neck. My neck's been dark lately, so and just in case somebody wanna get slick in the comments, like Alright guys, so I'm gonna go in using if I look if I'm looking all over the place, I need to get used to my camera. But um, I'm going to go in with my 90% alcohol, my 91% alcohol, and I'm going to um, clean up my hairline so that it's you know so my shit sticks. My contour palette, and I went in on my cap with some of my dark skin material because that's what we are over here. And then I went in using my Ghost Bond Classic to put the glue on my forehead. I'm gonna use a blow dryer um, to dry it off because I'm trying to like, you know, get this video on and pop in and online like now. So I'm going to use, I'm also gonna use this to diffuse my hair because I don't have time to be waiting for it to air dry. So here it goes. Oh, and you're gonna, you're gonna dry it on a cool setting, on a cool mold. I'm going to go ahead and put foundation um, I bleached the knots. Um, I think I bleached it a little bit too much, but I really don't care. I'm just like, I know what I'm doing. But um, this is the deep wave hair that I was telling you about. I'm just looking here so I can see like if the texture is popping out. But this is the hair. It's 26 inches. And I got it for like less than $150, okay? Um, well, on wigs too. I'm going to put the wig on my head the way I parted it. I'm doing a side part, so the wig is going to sit like this. Okay, and we're gonna go in and do some plucking. This is just here because what I do is I'm going to go in using my rat tail comb, and my rat tail comb is going to do the pressing into my not my scalp but into like the skin to melt it, and then I go in and I cut. Okay, so if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at the mirror that's in front of me. Okay, and just like that, we have the wig on. It should be like stuck to your fucking head, okay? Using my scissors if I can find it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in using my um, trusty pair of like, I don't know if these are even called. So I'm going to start off at the center, right here. Okay, and I'm just going to cut tabs because I don't want to mess up. Okay, I'm going to leave this like this because it's the edges though, that's easy. But the, the front portion is really my main concern because you know the sides always lift anyway, so. Starting off with the middle part, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut. Now that we are done cutting our things, I am not satisfied with this part. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pluck up here just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use my slanted tweezer that I got off of Amazon. I'm going to list everything that I've used in this video down in the description box below. Now that we're done with tweezing, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of concealer. 
So now that we have our lip gloss on, I'm gonna go in using my conditioner and water in a spray bottle. Y'all already knew that this was coming like this. It's like no brainer. Everybody who does their hair that's curly, deep curly, water wave, whatever type of wave, you need to get a bottle and water and conditioner and spritz your hair. I forgot to mention that you do need a denim brush. Um, well, you don't need it, but it's really good to have. Make sure your hair is saturated, it's drenched. So I'm gonna go in using my coconut curls. This is the Frizz Defying Curl Styling Milk. You can let this product air dry, um, but I actually like to use a diffuser just because I don't have time right now to wait. I'm gonna take a generous amount, maybe like four or five pumps, and I'm going to go in on one side, this side specifically so that you guys can see the product in my hair. going and using the Infinity Pro by Con Air blow dryer. I freaking love this blow dryer. They're looking good as fuck. Um, the hair is not always dry. I kind of like how it feels and looks like the wet look. So I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go in using my Argan oil. Um, this is the extra penetrating oil. And this is just basically to keep the sheen on the hair. I feel like up here is a little frizzy. So I'm gonna go in using, this is my favorite, favorite mousse that I have. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use it. This is the Vi Vigorol Curls Mousse. I'm not gonna put it in my, through the curls. I'm just gonna put it on the top of my hair. I have these little like pins that I got from Sephora and I'm just gonna put them on the side of my hair. And just like that, we're done. The hair is really, really soft. Um, It's super duper pretty. And I love how like thick it gets. By the way, if you guys want to see an updated um, makeup tutorial on me, just let me know down in the comment section below. I'm most likely going to do it either way, um, if people um, ask for it or not, just to put content out there. Alright guys, so this is my final take on this video. This is how the hair turned out. Very nice. I added my own little pins to it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you made it to the end, I sincerely appreciate you. I'm super excited to give you guys more content, to throw things out there that you guys like. Um, you know, I really hope that everybody's being safe. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes with that one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.